Hi everyone, in today's video we are doing trying everything on the menu at Jollibee! Last time I did one of these trying everything on the menu videos, it was at Costco and you guys seemed to really like it so I figured we would go to Jollibee and do the same thing. So if you guys have any suggestions on where you want me to try everything on the menu next, then definitely leave those in the comments because I love hearing from you guys and I love taking suggestions from you guys. Also this video is sponsored by Squarespace but more on that later and yeah without further ado, let's head into Jollibee. just stopped by and we got a bunch of stuff from Jollibee. I'm gonna be ordering things in increments so that I can try to have it as fresh as possible when I review it for you guys. But yeah, let's start off with the iconic famous Jollibee chicken. I got an order of six piece original chicken and an order of six piece spicy chicken. Let's go ahead and dig into the original. Of course, we're gonna have to have it with some gravy in a sec, but I wanna try it just as is first. Mm, that batter is so light and so crispy has these like flakes coming off of it as well the chicken is fairly juicy now i'm gonna try it with the gravy mm, that is the ultimate combination you have the crispiness of that chicken skin and then the gravy adds this really nice like savory rich flavor it is a must try with the chicken now i'm gonna move on to the spicy chicken so crispy oh my goodness with each bite of this golden crispy chicken, I can really see why Jollibee is so loved and why so many people are so passionate about it. And you know what they should do with that passion, or really any passion, is make a website with Squarespace. Squarespace is an easy way to accomplish your goals and aspirations. Say you're a fried chicken lover, for example, which I'm sure you are if you're watching this video, and you want to start a blog and connect with other fried chicken enthusiasts. Well, you can pick from Squarespace's many templates, write a blog post, enable the commenting feature, and then boom, you're already on your way to building your fried chicken community. Or say you want to sell some fried chicken merchandise. All it takes is adding your product photos, writing a description, and now you've got an online shop on your website. And all of this is done with no coding or any design experience. The best part? It's completely free to try. So start your free trial using the link in the description or go to squarespace.com slash And if you choose to continue using Squarespace after your trial is up, you can get 10% off your subscription using this link. So what are you waiting for? Get started today and turn your dreams into reality, like I'm about to do by continuing to eat this fried chicken. It's really not that spicy. It just has like a very subtle hint of spiciness. This piece of chicken is juicier than the one I had in the original and it's making me enjoy it a lot more. <laughs> that and the little kick of spice. Now we gotta try it with that gravy. Mm, that is just a game changer. You of course have that crispy texture when you first bite in and then you get the juicy chicken and then you get the hint of spice as well as just like this savory chicken flavor. And then once you dip it into this gravy, it adds more of like a richness, a beefy umami flavor. If I had to pick between spicy and original, I think I would definitely go for the spicy one. That's just me personally, but the original one is also really, really good. So this is the pineapple quencher. And of course we got to use our Fee Meme glass boba straw. Link will be in the description as always. Whoa, definitely very pineapple-y. It tastes so tropical. It's nice and sweet. It's not like overly, overly sweet. I mean, it's definitely sweet, don't get me wrong, but it's not like hella sweet. But also, if you're one of those people who like things not too sweet, I think this might be too sweet for you. But I personally enjoy it, actually. Definitely quenching my thirst. <laughs> and then, of course, we have to have our fried chicken with the Jollibee sides. I'm very curious about this adobo rice, so I think I'm gonna start off with this one. It smells so good. Mmm, it has like these little pieces of meat in it. I believe it's pork and the rice is nice and flavorful Not like too flavorful, not too salty or anything. Just like the perfect balance. So comforting and delicious. Next up, the mashed potatoes. Oh, oh my gosh, look how smooth that looks in there. Mm, definitely not bad, very smooth, kind of have a little bit of creaminess to it, and it's just a nice vehicle for that rich gravy. I feel like if you pair that gravy with anything, it's gonna be good. Next up, the french fries. Hmm. Are they the best fast food french fries? Definitely not. But do they do the job? Definitely yes. They have that solid potato flavor that you want from a french fry. And they could be crispier, but that also could be because I didn't eat it right away. So it's not as crispy as it was before, but still doing the job. Next up, the Jollibee spaghetti. All right, let's give this a good mix. 
Mm. Mm, it's so interesting. I think the spaghetti sauce, it is definitely quite sweet. But then when you have the hot dog with it, these little hot dogs here, it adds a lot of saltiness. So it's kind of like a salty, sweet spaghetti. The spaghetti itself is cooked really nicely. It has like a little bite to it. If you guys haven't already, I definitely would recommend giving this a try. For the last side, we have the Paula Bach Fiesta. Immediately when I opened the box, the aroma filled the whole car. It kind of has this like shrimpy, fishy, like seafoody smell and then the noodles on the bottom look like really thin rice noodles i've never even heard of this dish before so i'm very curious about it hmm very interesting it definitely has like a shrimp flavor to it it's savory it's completely different from the spaghetti because that was like pretty sweet and there's like little pieces of minced pork in it and then yeah the sauce kind of has like a shrimp flavor not sure i would order it again just because i feel like i like some of the other sides better than this but i am glad that i tried it because it's a completely new experience for me so for the next section we're gonna finish trying their chicken items here we have the three-piece chicken tenders and we have the creamy sriracha and the pineapple barbecue sauces give it a dip Tenders are decently juicy. I mean, they could be juicier, but they're not dry or anything. And then the batter has a nice crisp to it, but I feel like eating this versus the other chicken, like the original chicken, that one is definitely the winner over the chicken tender. I actually do like this creamy sriracha sauce though. Definitely has that sriracha flavor and a little bit of a kick. Now for the pineapple barbecue sauce. Interesting. Kind of does have a pineapple flavor to it. I feel like barbecue sauce is like smoky and it's already like sweet and tangy. And then that pineapple just makes it a little more interesting. All right, moving on to the chicken sandwiches. Here is the original chicken sandwich. On the inside, we have the fried chicken patty and it also looks like some mayo in there as well. Oh, that chicken is so juicy. I hope you guys can see how juicy it is. Definitely one of the juiciest chicken sandwiches I've ever had. And then the breading is so thin. Like look at that breading to chicken ratio. I also got the deluxe version to try. So it looks like this one has lettuce and tomato. I do personally like having that lettuce and tomato in there. It adds this nice freshness that I feel like the first one was lacking. It just gives it more dimension as a sandwich. Just because the first one, it was literally just like bread, mayo, and fried chicken. And I feel like I was missing a little bit of something in there because at other places like Popeyes, they would put like pickles in there. So it kind of adds this like acidity and freshness to it. So I feel like getting the deluxe with the lettuce and tomato really helped in that department. Now we have the spicy chicken sandwich. Oh, look, there's jalapenos in there. Mm, definitely better than the original. The sauce that they use, I feel like it might be that creamy sriracha sauce that we were trying earlier, which I much prefer to just like plain mayo. And then the jalapenos adds this nice crunch and freshness and spice. And the chicken is so juicy. I don't know how they get such juicy chicken. That is the best chicken sandwich that we tried from Jollibee so far. But we have to try the deluxe spicy chicken sandwich. Mm. What one piece of lettuce and one slice of tomato can do to a sandwich. I do have to say this one is my favorite out of the four. Okay, so it is actually the next day because after that last clip that you just saw, I was really struggling. So now it's the next day and we're back. And I also realized I forgot to mention that I've been eating on this car table in case you guys are interested. I will have it linked in the description. Now let's move on to the burger section. So here I have the yum burger. We have that patty and then some mayo it looks like. Mm. The bun is actually so soft and fluffy. Other than that, this burger is kind of dry, very, very plain. I guess kind of bland as well. I could use some ketchup with it. But now let's try the cheese yum burger. I believe the only difference between this and the original is just that it has cheese on it, which to me, cheese makes everything better. So let's give it a try. Wow, that is actually so much better. The cheese just adds this like creamy richness to it and it makes it not nearly as dry. The other one was quite dry. The cheese really makes such a big difference. Next up, we have what they call the Big Yum Burger. So it looks like this one comes with two patties, cheese, lettuce, and tomato. Wow, this feels like a full burger. I mean, especially because it has that lettuce and tomato, which brings that nice freshness and the tomato is so juicy. And then you can definitely tell there's a double patty because it's just like so meaty. It just changes the ratio of the whole thing completely. Yeah, this is definitely the best one that we tried so far. Next up, we have the Aloha Yum Burger. So it has lettuce, two patties, a slice of cheese, bacon, and pineapple. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this because personally, I am not a pineapple on pizza person. So I don't know if I'm a pineapple on burger person. I know it's very controversial. So let me know if you're team pineapple on pizza or team no pineapple on pizza in the comments. 
Whoa. So when I first bit in, I definitely got the meaty patties and then you get that smokiness from the bacon, freshness from the lettuce, the creaminess from the cheese, and then you get that pineapple and kind of like burst in your mouth. It's just so like juicy. And then you get that very big chunk of pineapple and you get the pineapple flavor and the pineapple juice. And it's very interesting. You know what? I don't hate it. I actually would say I'm leaning more towards liking it. The bacon has such a strong flavor that the pineapple, it's like not super, super strong. I feel like pineapple on pizza and you usually have it like with Canadian bacon, which doesn't have as strong of a flavor as normal bacon, then it tastes more like pineapple. And this one tastes like pineapple, but less because the bacon is such a strong flavor. I think I do like it. And out of all the other burgers we tried so far, this one is the most unique one. I do like the big gum burger, which we tried just right before this. So I say this one and that one are my top two. All right, last for the burger section, we have two piece hamburger steak with steamed rice. So here we have two patties, gravy, and some mushrooms and steamed rice. I feel like the burger in this is actually saltier than the burger patty in the burger Or I wonder if the saltiness is coming from the gravy. I'm not sure but this is quite good the Combination of that savory meaty burger with the different texture of the mushrooms and then pair it with delicious thick gravy Kind of has like a beef stroganoffy vibe to it. Honestly, not bad. Would I order it over the chicken though? Probably not, but it is good. And last but not least we have the dessert section I'm sure you guys know about the iconic Jollibee peach mango pie and then I saw that they have this banana langka. Not sure how to pronounce it. Let's go ahead and try the banana one first because if I don't like it, then at least I'll know that I'll like the peach mango one. Look at how fried and golden and crispy that is. Oh, and it has like this stripe. I wonder if that's how they can tell which pie is which. Let's give it a try. Oh my god, that's so crispy. Wow, that pie shell, so golden, so crispy. It has like a butteriness to it as well. Surprisingly, there's not a hella strong banana flavor because usually when I order something banana flavored, I expect the banana to be really strong just because banana is a very strong and overpowering flavor a lot of the time. But this is actually a subtle-ish banana flavor. So I guess if you were gonna order this expecting it to be very, very strong banana flavor, you'd be disappointed in that aspect. But it tastes very good. And it's so nice because the crispy on the outside warm and gooey on the inside, literally like the perfect match. I'm just imagining this with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Wow, that would be so good. And then of course we have the peach mango pie. This one we all know and love. I'm so excited. Mm, that filling is just oozing out. Again, it's nice and golden and crispy. Although the banana one was actually more golden and crispy. I think they fried it for a little longer, but man, this is bringing back some memories. Oh my gosh. The peach mango combination is so good. So warm, so gooey, has a sweetness to it. It's really, really good. If you guys haven't tried this yet, you need to. Okay, so after the pies, we're technically done with Jollibee, but I saw some other Jollibees have hollow hollow. So I was hoping that the Jollibee I was going to had hollow hollow, but it didn't. But but it does have a red ribbon bake shop, which is kind of like a bakery from the Philippines that Jollibee acquired. And a lot of times when there's a Jollibee location, there will be a red ribbon close to it or next to it or in the same location as well. And I saw that red ribbon sells hollow hollow. So I figured I'd pop into red ribbon and get a hollow hollow just to fulfill that hollow hollow craving. And inside there, I literally wanted to get like everything because they had just came out with a ube flan. I really wanted to try that, but you have to like buy the whole flan. And I think that would be a bit too much for me. I did end up getting this ube overload cake. So we're gonna try these out. Holo holo means mix mix and it's basically kind of like a shaved ice but it has all these different toppings and like ube jam or also known as ube halaya. And then it's topped with some leche flan and I'm not quite sure what flavor ice cream this is. I think it might be mango but we'll see. So we're supposed to take this off and mix everything together. I always wonder if you're supposed to mix the ice cream in as well and the flan. So if any of you guys out there know, please let me know in the comments. Mm. The flan is so creamy and smooth, but then you have like the little granulars of ice. Granules? Granules of ice. And mixed with all those toppings and the sweetness. Let's see what flavor this ice cream is. Mm. It is mango. Whenever I order Halo Halo, it usually has ube ice cream on top. So it's interesting to have it with the mango. Literally, while I was filming the whole video, this is what I was looking forward to the most. The Halo Halo. Now moving on to the ube overload cake. Oh my gosh. Just look how beautiful that is. 
Mm. Mm. Definitely, definitely, definitely get that ube flavor. I feel like sometimes when I order ube things, they don't taste that strongly of ube, but this one for sure does. The cake is decently moist and it's the perfect vehicle for that ube flavor. And on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any places that you want to see me try everything on the menu at, definitely leave those in the comments. And yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload. Give this video a thumbs up. And here's today's comment shout out. Thank you so much for your support. And if you want to be in the next video's comment shout out, make sure you comment something down below and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye